And, you know, listen, looking at the markets this week, I mean, we, we, we've been on a significant uptrend. And I've always been taught that, you know, the market is a great predictor of what's going to happen six months from now. So mm -hmm. if that's any indication, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, we're going to get past this inflationary cycle, uh, moving into a, 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 a lower interest rate environment, uh, and things should be better. Uh, but Here's, and, and I mean, you said something extremely important right there, and I'd like to repeat it. The stock market is forward-looking. The stock market actually looks forward. And they're pricing in next quarter's earnings and the quarter after that. They're not looking behind us. From that perspective, though, we, we'd we never have a bear market if it was always right, because everybody always wants stocks to go up, including myself. Now, am I say, did I just say a minute ago, the market's always right and this market may be wrong? No, it's not what I said at all. What I said is when you start to see, if you start to see some stock market weakness, you should believe it. You shouldn't necessarily fight it because you're going to be right eight times, eight times out of 10 fighting. But those two times that you're wrong, that's when we lose a generation of investors. And that generation is the one that gets hurt. Stock market doesn't get hurt.